Okay, I'm going to show you how transformers work. The top here you have a step up transformer, and the bottom you have a step down transformer. And the difference is, is the number of turns on the primary and secondary. So a transformer is made of a primary coil, the first coil, and a secondary coil, the second coil. They are not electrically connected, but they are linked by an iron core. And it's the iron core which carries a magnetic field. You may be asked the question, why iron? It's because iron is a magnetic metal. There are only three magnetic metals. Iron is one of them, so it must be an iron core. And at the bottom here, you can see the number of turns is different. I'll show you that on the second slide. So if just look, when I pass an alternating current through the primary, alternating current means it changes direction constantly. That produces an alternating magnetic field. That alternating magnetic field transfers through the iron core and it will then induce by electromagnetic induction a voltage on the secondary okay and you can see that they're slightly okay transformers are either step up or step down so step up the voltage or step down the voltage they only work an alternating current because an alternating current the primary will generate a changing an alternating magnetic field to induce a current on the second to work out the voltage, it steps up or step down, we use a transformer equation. This transformer equation will be printed on the exam. If you look on the right, the number of turns on the primary divided by the number of turns on the secondary will give you the ratio of the turns. And that is equal to the ratio of the voltage. So if you had the same number of turns on each, you get the same voltage on each. If it stepped up, so the secondary had twice as many as the primary, then the voltage would have twice as many as the primary. I think the best way to explain this examples. So here's a conventional trauma. Let's just have a look. In the top here, you can see a, a step down transformer has more turns on the primary than on the secondary, and a step up has more turns on the secondary coil than on the primary. Let's put some numbers and see through a few examples. So this one here, you'd want to know how many coils were in the secondary. Well, if you're going from 240 volts to 480, then it's stepping up by a factor of 2. So the 100 coils must go up to 200, and therefore it's a step up transfer. Okay, another example. If you know there's 12 turns on the primary and 6 on the secondary, then it's going down by a factor of 2. So the voltage must also go down by a factor of 2, and therefore get... 100 volts output and therefore it's a step down more examples seven turns to 14 will mean it goes up by a factor of two so it's 10 volts to 20 step up. okay a final example here if we go from 240 volts which is our mains electricity and you bring it down to 12 volts so this could be an adapter for a, a mobile phone charger or something else electrical in your house then the step down is 240 to 12 is 20 times. So it must have been 5 times 20, which is 100 turns on the primary. So it's 100 turns to 5, so it's a step down transformer. Why can transformers be used? Well, you may remember in P1 that you looked at the national grid. So here's a quick revision of the national grid. You start with some sort of power station and you step up the voltage, you step up the volt transformer and then you pass a high voltage across the national grid and then when it gets to a substation near your house it will step down to 230 volts for your home. Why do we do that? Well we do it because we need to not lose so much power. So if electricity companies transmit at 230 volts there will be a big power loss. This is because the current is too high. And therefore, to overcome this, use transformers to step up the voltage. Stepping up the voltage steps down the current, which means there's less current and therefore less power loss, which are much lower and therefore much more efficient system.